Hey guys, happy Saturday. Um, yes, it is Saturday. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Um, it's so great to see all of you lovely little coffee beans in chat right now. Um, by the way, I did change my stream settings, so if anything starts to lag, let me know because I tried to up the quality of my stream. Um, and so, yeah, also later on, yeah, there might be some issues. There might be some issues. So just let me know if something crazy happens or if there's something wrong with the audio. Um, because as uh, prepared as I am, I did not test my settings before going live today. So we're really just going to get what we get, you know? Um, anyways, first off, uh, Styles, thank you so much for the resub for seven months. Holy crap. Um, I can't believe it's been that long. Uh, since I started playing RimWorld. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that happened back in December, I guess. So yeah, that makes sense. Thank you so much. And Leb, thank you so much for the resub for 16 months. Oh my God, 1.33 years. Wow. Wow. That is incredible. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being committed to the caffeine cult. I, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Um, let's see. Friedman was first today. Friedman, that's awesome. Do you know what special benefit you get for being first today? You get to tell me what uh, little 3D art you want me to create when we get to that part of the stream, if you want to. <laughs> We're going to be doing something really interesting today. We're going to be, um, I, I, not you, but I will be attempting to make uh, 3D latte art. And if you don't know what that is, I will show you. Uh, let me make sure. Oops, it is not on the right. Okay, there we go. I will show you now. Okay, so 3D latte art is this cute little thing up here. Um, basically, it's when um, you take milk foam and you just kind of plop it onto coffee and then you paint it. Um, I did some practice pieces before going live and I can assure you they did not look that good. Um, so we are going to just see what happens with that. Um, but I am taking viewer uh, ideas and suggestions for what I should try to make with my latte art foam. Um, before stream, I made a blob and the blob had brown and green dots on it and, and it looked really cute. Um, but yeah, this is the setup. Um, I have like a special frother too. You guys have never seen this frother before um, because it has been living under my bed along with my alcohol stash. But anyways, that's not important. Um, what is important is that this thing has a fun little whisk in it and it makes really dope foam. And so it will be very useful for making our 3D latte art later. Um, but yeah, that is what we are doing. Um, and I'm very excited. And then at 6 p.m. or so, probably a little bit after 6 p.m., I will be going and playing Dead by Daylight again. Um, and if anybody would like to join, you are welcome to do that as well. Um, so that's the plan for today's stream. Um, yeah, surprise. I know I didn't put that on the schedule, but, you know, schedules don't really exist for me. So, yeah. Um, let's see here. Let's catch up. We have Styles, Leb. Um, caffeinated Linux, hello there. Um, also, thank you for all the fun little like coffee things that you posted in the coffee chat. If you guys are not already part of the Discord, you need to join the Discord. Just do exclamation mark Discord. It will take you to the Discord and you should join. Um, let's see here. We have um, Friedman. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Norm, hello, Norm. Welcome in. Welcome. So, oh, and my God, Sloth. Hello, Sloth. Welcome to the stream. Um, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. Um, also, thank you. Uh, you're wondering what calf does when I'm waiting. So what I usually do when I'm waiting for stream to start, and it's like the just starting screen, um, I'm usually boiling water, actually. And I'm also like arranging my coffee things. Um, and um, I'm also sometimes just like just drinking lots of water and sometimes um, mostly just water, not spicy water, just regular water. I'm just like chugging it, you know, getting ready. <laughs> Staying hydrated. Um, that is what I do before stream. And then I just sit there kind of like this. And then I go live after I like watch you guys like just typing in chat. I'm like, oh, 
they're so cute and then I go and go live and that's what I do um but anyways um Norm I hope you're doing well um a touch more volume on the mic would be nice for my aging ears oh my goodness I just saw that okay and here I have been doing all this talking oh yeah it was kind of low huh all right now it's going into the yellow zone um I'm not gonna hunch over I'll do this does this sound okay all right all right that's good that's good um it's a cult, not a commitment. It's brainwashing. I know, I know. Well, surprisingly, I didn't try to brainwash you guys to go decaf, so I'm not really brainwashing anyone. Um, we met you when you were murdering the shit out of NATO on RimWorld, and we talked about cells at work. Yes, I remember this. I remember this. Um, uh, oh, yeah, that's all you? Oh, yeah, yeah. We are getting fancy with it now. Yeah, so I mean... Well, well, I'll describe how people usually make 3D latte art, but it can be a pretty involved thing. But we're going to start off very, um, very uh, basic. Um, and I'm using matcha and chocolate syrup as my little painting things instead of like food coloring, because you can use food coloring if you want to make like a lot of fancy stuff. Yeah, we have a tablecloth. Um, yeah, my tablecloth. These are just old towels. <laughs> <laughs> they're like old towels from like a hotel or something <laughs> um why does your alcohol stash live under your bed oh because you know you have to store it in a cool dark place yeah you moved into the other games and memes chat on discord gotta demotivate my you get my demotivational meme fixes wait those were demotivational i thought they were pretty motivational um, calf, are you still doing no, not November? I mean, your sad little month of decaf. Yeah. So I do have to say, uh, that I actually, um, drink coffee today. I had, um, a caffeinated beverage. Um, it was it mostly, okay. The reason why was cause I went to a coffee shop to like meet my friend and she got coffee. And so then I was like, well, God damn it. I have to get coffee. So then I got coffee as well. And that is what happened. Yeah. Um, so I cheated a little bit. Um, but it was really interesting, um, because I was trying to, um, yeah, I don't know actually where I was going with that. Never mind. But yeah, it's, it's been kind of okay not drinking coffee. Um, I haven't had headaches. So yeah, um, today is going to be the only day I have coffee. And then f until the end of the month, I will still be abstaining from the beverage. In fact, today for our lattes, I'm going to be using cocoa powder, Milo cocoa powder as the uh, like little base that we do things Why, on. Hello, my little coffee bean. Patwick! Patwick, thank you so much for that. Holy crap, 20 <laughs> months, dude. You've got John Wick chapter two on the side. All right, right. You guys get to hear um, Pat Wick's awesome John Wick voice later because he likes to do that um, sometimes for fun. Um, he likes to cosplay as John Wick, actually. It's really interesting. Like, he just goes outside, like, dressed as John Wick, and he just goes around and talks in John Wick's voice. And um, it's really funny. Anyways. <laughs> 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 oh man, I, I love picking on people. It's so much fun. Um, geez. Okay, okay. I won't do that to you anymore. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyways, I hope everyone had a good week. Um this week I uh what did I do this week? First of all, what did you guys do this week? Did you guys did anyone have anything exciting happen to them? The closest thing to cosplay was growing out my hair. Oh yeah, yeah, you, yeah, your hair looked like uh, John Wick. Um, you cosplay as John Wick's dog sometimes. So does that mean you you're dead, Friedman? Do you just die sometimes? Um, you 100% believe everything Cap says. Oh my God! Please don't do that. Please don't. Um, also styles, I saw some messages that your back is hurting and I hope that your back pain gets better. Um, you went to the doctor and that was the highlight of my month. Oh God. Um, I hope that the doctor visit was good and not bad though. Um, so this week, let's see, I did an interesting experiment and I got some cool results. It was really fun. 
Um, and I can show you guys, like, I'll give you guys a brief little, like, nerd moment, um, in a second. Um, you told slightly about how I got patted down in downtown San Diego. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some sketch stuff happening there, Pat Wicking. Um, you kiss, you, wait, you kiss, kiss, pass? I'm just gonna call you, I'm gonna call you kiss. You went to an open day of crematorium today. Pretty morbid. Oh, Kess. Okay. Wait, what is an open day of crematorium? Does that mean you get to observe all of the, the bodies? Um, I shouldn't look so excited. But what does that mean? Um, so when I was in high school, one of my dreams, my dream job in high school was I wanted to become a mortician. Um, and... I know that sounds very gruesome, um, but I was always very fascinated with either becoming a mortician or like becoming um, kind of a medical, <laughs> a medical examiner um, and figuring out the cause of death for people. Um, I thought it was super interesting, but um, then I went and did my first internship in the ER and I saw somebody die and it was really um unexpected and it was very uh kind of life altering to see that um and I was not so sure that I wanted to see um past humans um so that is why I did not become a mortician but it was interesting life altering wait what did I say did I not say life altering horse cock welcome in um oh they show you what to do they show you like how, wait, are you interested in run like doing crematorium things, Kess? That's super interesting. I don't really hear that from people every day. It's not every day someone's like, yeah, I just rolled back from the, uh, from the mor mortuary or the crematorium um, and past humans. Are we talking about Soylent Greens yet? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sounds like a day in the kitchen. <laughs> You spent the morning at work, you went under a bridge, and you gave out free vaccines to homeless people for a couple hours. Oh, that's awesome, Friedman. So I'm I'm curious, are you the person that's actually injecting the shot? Um, I have had some very interesting people inject me before, um, and sometimes I'm like not sure that they know what they're doing, but it's always fun. Anyways, I hope you know what you're doing if you are injecting people, but that's, that's cool. Um... <laughs> Well, guess who has five thumbs and just got fired from the morgue? This guy? Wait, what does five thumbs? Oh, what? Leb, what? Wait, what does that mean? That's so dark. Are you saying that the guy took five thumbs from people at the morgue and just kind of left with them? Um, that's That's very sketchy. No, no, we have trained nurses who do that. Oh, you handle the IT stuff. Ah, okay, okay. That makes more sense. Um, you just... Reaper! Hello, Reaper! You just discovered the Spira water gun, and now you want one for science. What is a Spira water gun? All right, we are going to go on a short Googling adventure, um, and I'm going to type in words, and we, were, we are going to look at the words together. Spira water gun. Please tell me this is safe. Okay, I for a second, as I was typing Spira water gun, I'm like, oh my god, what if it's not safe for work? Because coming from Reaper, you never know what you're going to get. Um, oh, it's an electric water rifle. Let's, let's look at this YouTube man's video. This looks stupid. Okay. Okay. Ah, it has a USB charger. Ah. Oh, bullets. Oh. Is this for adults that have never grown up? Ah. Super shot. Let's see that. What was that? That was pretty dope. Oh. 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 It looks 
А он носи... А ну иди сюда, говно собачье! Решил ко мне лезть? Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, he's like ripping grass up! Ah! 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 Okay, I want one too now. Thank you for sharing this enlightening video. Um, it doesn't look stupid! <laughs> Wait, that looks really fun. Um, okay, so what would be one of the first things? Where would you go and take the spiral water gun? What would you do with it? Like, I'm just curious. Like, once you get the water gun, it looks fun and all. But then all your friends have to get one, too, so that you can, like, like you know, it's fair. So you can, like, shoot people and they can shoot back. It's not fun if you're just shooting at people. Um, that sounds wrong. But anyways... It it does have some po power. Water science. We can watch some M River sometimes. I like their stream tables. Oh, is that like those little tables where you can like direct water and you can make rivers and stuff? I used to do that when I was a kid. It reminds me of the assault rifle from Halo for shay lady. For shame. What? What? We wanted to do airsoft today, but it's 100 degrees. Yeah, no. This is for people who live in Texas and other hot places. This, um, I guess Friedman would be a good candidate for that gun. Does it get the damn kids off the lawn? Of course. Oh, my God. Imagine what the parents would do if you did that to someone's kid. It must hurt a lot. Um, you must shoot people for science with the water gun. <laughs> Oh my god, water's hella polar. Yes, yes it is, yes it is. Um, you use the water gun for my showers, very water efficient. Wait, Braidman, are you serious? So do you just go out there and do you give someone else the gun? Wait, how do you do that? How do you like shower with a water gun? Do you have to have someone else shoot you with the water? I'm guessing that's not very private, um, so that's that's a little awkward. It's just water. Bearded, thank you so much for the lurk, I appreciate it. Um, those are the tables that M River does. They help showcase erosion from the rivers when thoughtless development harms the riverways. Those are very interesting. Yeah, I will have to look at that sometime. Um, but yeah, this week, what did I get to do? I got to um, work, do some mouse work and I also got to uh, stain some proteins. It was very exciting. Um, basically, okay. So, so just really quickly, for how your cells work, there are all these little like signaling molecules inside of them and or like these little proteins that signal. And when they signal, they get this special little um, phosphate group added to them. Um, and so what I was looking at was I was looking at this really cool little receptor um, and I was staining for a phosphorylated protein. And this is this was the excitement of my week because the, the staining worked and it looked really cool. Um, but basically, the way your cells work is, um, let me, let's go back to this share screen here. Ah, here we go. All right. So um, let me, let me zoom in real fast. Uh, no, I want to, oops. Okay. This, this, is, this works. All right. Now you can see it zoomed in. So you have like a, um, a receptor on the surface of your cells. Your cells have like tons of receptors and they all bind to different things. And the one that I was interested in is called the IL-2 receptor, the light blue thing. And IL-2 is a signaling molecule that your immune cells use. To, and if they bind to it, it will tell the immune cell to do some interesting function, like kill better or produce like some kind of, um, like other cytokine, so kind of like a domino effect. And you can see here that there's all these like little yellow P's and these yellow P's, all right, it's not like P, but it's it stands for phosphate. Um, and basically when signaling happens in the receptor, the receptor will, f um, will cause this phosphorylation chain to happen because it activates these little proteins called kinases. And kinases will add phosphate groups to other proteins. And one of the proteins that get phosphorylated is this protein called STAT5. And so I was looking, I was staining for phosphorylated STAT5. So basically down here um, where you see the little P's attached to the STAT5, 
I was doing a staining for that. And it's really hard to get good signal because this is all happening inside of the cell. So all of your like staining reagents have to get into the cell and you can you can mess things up pretty easily. I actually did mess something up, but it still worked and it was amazing and I'm so happy. And that was the highlight of my week and that's all I need to say. Um, I don't have a water gun story to tell you other than, oh my God. So I was working with some of my mice and they were like freaking out. They were like jumping. Like I had a couple jumpers um, and they were, they basically, um, would just jump every time I would try to go like pet them or touch them. That was kind of scary. That was exciting, but that was, that was about it for my, for my excitement. Other than that, it was just drinking decaf coffee every day. Um, privary, pri privary, privacy comes second to water conservation. Um, eh. So are you going to just like go and stand out on your front lawn and just have someone shoot you with water guns while you're like, you know, all nude and stuff? That seems that seems a little bit a little bit sketchy. <laughs> One receptor to bring them all and in the darkness bind them. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of how it works. I love that. Um, they make water free soap. Oh, like soap powder. Have you guys ever just like dumped soap powder on yourself? It's a uh, very interesting, very interesting thing to do. Um, I don't know why you keep placing this activity on my front lawn. <laughs> well, um, I guess it could happen. Oh, I guess it could take place inside of your shower. And then you just have someone like squirt. What the heck? I didn't even touch. Did I touch it? I might have bumped it. Um, that's one thing I don't like about this mic is that uh, it doesn't have like an actual button. It has kind of like a sensor. And if you just like tap it, it will just uh, mute. Um, oops. OK, that was that was embarrassing. Um, Basically, all I was saying is that when you shower on your front lawn, you're also watering your lawn and therefore the water gets to live twice. It has two functions. It cleans you and it waters your um, your lawn. Wait, it's still muted. No, it's not. It's. Wait, what? It's not muted. I see. I see the little like sound bubbles coming out. Wait, really? Wait, can you hear my music, Leb? I I think okay, okay. Um Leb used to bathe in my front yard with my rain barrel all the time in the summer, but you lived in the woods so nobody cared. Oh, you mean like you you like got inside of your rain barrel? That's so cool. Oh no, Leb. Oh no, you're you're gonna star in that like stupid Taylor Swift song about being the problem or something. I feel like I just walked out of a dream and oh my god! Oh my god! No, no, I can't believe you. <laughs> Oh my god, now that's gonna just be there. Horsecock, I know that was you. I know that was you because you're very obsessed with that for some reason, and I don't know why or how, but I'm just gonna ignore that for now. Um okay. Um you wouldn't do it? Yes, yes, you would do that. You would do it. I I can assure you. Um You're still muted. Have you unmuted yourself yet, Leb? He's going to have 10 men in his shower. It's it's water guns, all right? Oh my god, Reaper started something and I don't know how to unstart it. <sighs> all right, we are going to go ahead and we're going to start making some latte art. Um and we're going to just I feel like I just walked out of a dream and it was Horse cock. See, that was you. That was you. Now, now it won't show up. Oh, whoops. Okay, that's not what I wanted to show you guys. Now it won't show up. So I, I have bested you. Haha. -ha. Um, let me change my stream thing actually really quickly. 
I know you guys are all going to see this and that's all fine and dandy and whatever. Um, how do I do this? How, how do I, um, oh yeah. Okay. Let's change this. I'm just ignoring horse cock for right now. I'm going to just call you horse too, just so you don't, uh, you don't get the satisfaction out of it. All right. Okay. So I'm going to be making some very questionable artwork. Um, I don't know how it's going to turn out. You guys are going to get to be the final judge. Are you quite done, young man? Have you finished? Have you finished gifting subs? Horse, have you finished? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I don't mean it like that. God damn it. <laughs> Triple Tom, welcome to the stream. Um, you know, we're just we're just doing normal things here. Um, you know, I see. Hello, welcome in. McScruff, hello, welcome in. Um, McScruff, I need you to take control of your child for me. Um, also, hang on, let me shout out McScruff. Um, and also, Leb, can you guys give yourself some shout out, some shout outs? Um, so that way we can distract away from horses, shenanigans. Ugh. Oh my god, and it's showing up there. Oh, look, it's McScruff. Let's all look at McScruff. Look at him doing something with milk. Oh, it's so exciting. I feel like I just walked out of a dream and it was a really weird dream. Hey, okay, let me finish, please. Could literally mean anything. I say that all the time when people are talking to me. I'm just like, uh -uh, let me finish, please. Uh -uh. And it, it's the same thing. So that doesn't mean anything. All right. Let me, can we, can we shout out Leb as well? I'll do it if you do. Can you do it for Leb, please, McScruff? Can you give him a shout out? Come on. Come on. Don't make me force you. <laughs> oh, look, here's a new clip from Leb. First of all. Wow. The the There's Oz. I am 100% oh man, uh, you can do it, Leb. Oh my God, what was that? Oh hey, that works. That works. You're like a little Spider Man. Okay, I thought you were gonna keep walking forward and then fall through the crack. Um, all right, we are going back. We are going to be making some artwork today. Um, so we are going to be making something that looks somewhat like this. Um, I actually have a whole selection of various things um, that we can choose from. So I'm going to put up the screen while I go and heat up my milk and get some other things um, ready. So you guys can decide which type of animal I should make first. Um, and I'm just going to say it might look questionable. So please, please don't judge. Um, it might be really bad. All right. So these are all of the different things I could try making first. It's so exciting. We might want to start off with something simple. Ghost flame. Oh my God. You guys, you guys started a, uh, choo, a choo choo train. You guys started a choo choo train. <laughs> Thank you, horse. This is all because you decided to gift subs to questionable people. And I appreciate that somewhat. Um, you're setting your bar high? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Styles. <laughs> Thank you for the dollar. You guys can just throw dollars at me. That's fine. Um, all right. I'm going to go get my milk and then I'm going to heat up some chocolate that we're going to be using for dipping into our milk. It's going to be... Feel like I just walked out of a dream. Start off with a snake. Those are easy to draw. Okay, we could do a snake. Also, horse, thanks so much for that resub. Um, throw dollars at you. Why is that sus? Does it sound like something a stripper would say? Maybe. All right, on that happy note, I'll, I'll be right back.
Yes, please throw quarters at me. I definitely want to do- dodge quarters. I think it would be a kind of a fun game. So, um, getting back, let's let's see. All right. So, um, what I have here is, um, well, first of all, let's ignore the poopy cup. I have filled my pitcher, which is one of those like self frothing pitchers. I've filled it with some milk. Um, as you can see, it's quite full and it has like a little whisk in the bottom. So all you have to do is you stick a lid on it and and then you put it on its little power source and you push this button and it will froth my milk for me automatically. Um, so I'm going to start doing that. You vote for an elephant? Oh, yeah, the elephant looks super hard. <laughs> And then I have different, um, so I made some like, let's put that here. I made some um, like chocolate syrupy stuff. Um, and basically I just melted chocolate into a cup and then I realized it was too thick and it wasn't sticking to my milk foam. So I've kind of added some milk to it and I'm just kind of making it a little bit more runny. Um, and then we're going to try to paint this on to our milk foam as like a design. Um, and I have multiple objects that I decided I would try using for painting. Um, I have a plastic chopstick. And I think this is um, this might work because unlike the wooden chopstick, it's a little bit smoother. So maybe the milk will slide off better. Um, and then I have a pointy little wooden chopstick to use as well. Um, I also have like this needle. Um, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna use this needle um, and see what happens. And then I also have a cake spatula. And then I also have a sifter for I don't really know why I grabbed this, but it might be useful. Um, and then I also I made a green paint. So we have brown paint and then we have green paint. Um, and this paint is made out of matcha. Um, so I'm just trying to use things that you could find in your house. Um, without having to buy like artificial food coloring. Um, so we have some matcha. It's very creamy. Um, I've chilled it for a little bit. It's pretty liquidy. It's, it's kind of clumpy actually. So I forgot to um, sift before adding my matcha powder and it got a little bit clumpy. So we're going to see how that works. Um, we might need to add more milk to it. So those are two things there. And then... Um, we have we have a cup and it has a dragon in it um, and we're going to use this um, to make our first actually we're going to use this to make our first um, little bit of artwork um, and what we're going to do for the base for all these drinks so you need like a liquid base like maybe espresso um, but in this case we're going to use milo which is an australian cocoa powder um, and I'm just using that because it's really simple. You just add water and stir and you have your base. Um, we know what the sifter was for. Oh, the sifter was for the matcha. I just forgot to use it. Um, hang on. So I'm also, I'm like frothing my milk under my bed. I have it right under here. Um, because, okay, all my power cords are like linked to this one table. So um, that's where I had to set it up. So it's basically under my bed, which is really sketchy. Um, but we're going to let that sit for a little bit and we're going to make our matcha. So we're going to do that like right here. What's that picture called? It's going to look it up on Amazon. Oh, the picture, the picture. So this picture is called Morocco. Um, and I think it was $40 when I bought it. Um, I will say if you're trying to make microfoam, this is not a good picture for microfoam, but it does make really frothy milk. Um, and it's very sturdily built. So you can see that we have, um, a lot of foam and I'm sorry, the exposure is like maybe not so great. So it just kind of looks like white. Um, but it's like a meringue. It's very fluffy. Um, so this is what we're going to be using to build um, our little structure with. We're just going to let that set there. And then we're going to start with our first cup, which is this cup. 
Mm, that's a lot of stuff going on under your bed right now. <laughs> so there's, I'm, I've always been afraid of monsters under my bed. And so I, I have made sure that there is no accessible crevice for monsters to live in under my bed. So I have like seven or eight boxes, like storage boxes under my bed currently. And then I also have um, all of the coffee that I no longer drink under my bed. And then I also have um, my alcohol stash under the bed and other things. So yeah, it's, it's a lot. I also have my protein powder under my bed. Um, and I think that's everything. So we've added a little Milo. We're going to add some water now. Um, okay, so so what animal? What 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 thing should I make first? Let's do like that. It should be okay. This is gonna be a small one just to practice with. Um, I brought all my small spoons out today. I have like four. Let's see. I have one, two, three, four, and then I have a fifth small spoon inside of my Milo container. Um, it's, it's kind of an obsession, I suppose. Brave Traveler, welcome in! How are you? Um, how long does... <laughs> how long does the milk stay frothy for? Um, or stay fluffy? So it actually stays fluffy for a pretty long time. Um, I was messing with it earlier and it stayed fluffy for about 30 minutes, although the structure started to deflate a little bit as I was messing with it. So that wasn't super ideal. But it can stay pretty fluffy for a long time, I guess is the short end of, end of the story. All right, we're going to have a little cleanup napkin here. Um, oh my goodness, Rachel Jane, welcome in. Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the stream. Um, oops, my alerts are all out of place as usual, so we're going to just put that up there. Um, damn a four-course meal plus some after-party supplies under there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could basically live under my bed. Drak and Fang, hello, welcome to the stream. It is a monster pantry. Yes, yes. Um, I also had my Cheetos stored under the bed for some questionable reason. Um, all right, so when you froth the milk with this Morocco, um, there is going to be a top layer of very airy foam on the on the top, and then the bottom layer is just milk. So we're going to pour a little bit of this milk in. We kind of want to bring the surface level up a little bit, maybe like that. That might that might be a little bit full. And then we're going to take my big spoon. Um, oh yeah, we have to decide what we're making. Right, right, right. Okay, let's go to the share screen, and you guys need to. You need to help me pick. What do we want to make first? We could make, um, wait, what can you guys see? You can see almost everything. Okay, that's good. Uh, we could make a bear. <gasps> we could make a hedgehog! Maverick, welcome in, Maverick. How are you? Um, so when stream ends, I'm going to do a party with the monsters under Cap's bed. <laughs> um... No, there's there's no monsters. I murdered all of them. Uh, we could do a little teddy bear. That's very cute. That's a classic. I feel like a teddy bear should be pretty easy. We could do like a little pig, except I don't have pink colors. Um, we could do this weird little thing from an anime that I don't know anything about. Um, do the chipmunk the chipmunk we could we could do the chipmunk oh my goodness there's a cat drowning except i think that's not actually latte art whoa this is excessive this is kind of like the snake idea <gasps> here's an elephant so we don't have all of these colors and um so it might not work that well that is very interesting someone had to, you guys realize that somebody literally had to like hold that spoon or rest that spoon while they drew that coffee on there, right? There's a little dolphin. That's that's also adorable. Um there's another there's a bear. That's really cute. Um That's just classic Studio Ghibli anime for bears. 
Um, it's like an inventory bag in her video games. If you level it up enough, there's no limit to how much she can store under her bed. <laughs> is this true? I think most of my, my belongings in life are actually under my bed, which is kind of sad and also kind of funny um, and also kind of ironic. Um, not there. Not yet there aren't. All right. I'm going to pick something. I'm going to pick something. I'm going to just do. Let's see. Let's see. There's people. That's really cute. There's um, the little bear. I feel like the little bear, it should be pretty easy, right? <gasps> What's this? Let's make Pikachu. Okay, I'm going to make Pikachu. I think that's a good place to start, actually. Um, because I like his, how big his ears are. Um, and I want to see if I can make his ears that big as well. So we're going to try to make Pikachu. Um, and we'll see what happens. All right, so we have our milk. We need to create like a flat surface um, so that we could build our Pikachu. Um, so we're gonna, let's see. Oh, it's actually quite thick. We're gonna just take some out. I actually don't really know how to do this because it's such a small cup. And I just spilled some actually. So we're gonna just kind of do that. That's why I put the towels there. We have a little bit of a of a spillage going on. So right now, the texture of this milk is a lot like meringue. Um, I don't know if anyone's a chef here or if you if you like make meringues, but it's very much like a meringue. Actually, this is we're gonna just kind of do this, kind of like frosting a cake. All right, so we have a nice a nice base. So there we go. And now we're going to start um, putting our little Pikachu on top. You love meringue. Meringue is so good. I, I also love meringue. Mm. So you want the foam to kind of be like a, you, you kind of want it to be smooth when you drop it on there. So Pikachu's head is kind of like a little blob, right? Okay. Let's see, I don't like this scoop. I need to mix it in a little bit more. Let's, let's do this. So here's what it looks like. You can see it's very, very jiggly. It's very jiggly. Um, it's quite fun. We're gonna just plop it on. It's actually extremely stiff. Um, it's more stiff than I was imagining it would be. So this might be a little bit hard. Okay, we're going to have to shape this. Wait, Pikachu is more of um, an oval shaped thing, right? So we need to kind of go around and and maybe form it up like this. Okay, so now the base is pretty even. Technically, I shouldn't be lifting my thing. I should just twirl it like this. And then we're going to just put the extra on this like lower slope, and we're going to get this nice little nub. God, I almost spilled it. It's a little, it's a little bit um, rough, but that's okay. And then we're, we have to decide which side is going to be our face. I think this is going to be the face side. So I'm going to kind of flatten it. And then we're going to just put that there. It's a jiggly puff. Wait, meringue is an S tier pie. She's talking about horse or the foam. Wait. <laughs> All right. So now let's use a smaller spoon. We're going to use a smaller spoon to put on the ears. Um, let's use this. So the ears are like very spiky. And we're going to just kind of... Okay, this is going to be a little bit hard.
Okay, there's one ear. Now we're going to put on the other ear. Oh my god, stay on. This ear is fatter than the other ear. Okay, okay. I mean, that's somewhat... Let's see. I have two ears. They need a little bit of support in the back. So I'm going to give them a little bit of, of support foam. Because they're kind of wanting to fall over. We also want the ear to curve forward. Because we all know that Pikachu has very curvy ears. So that that's fine. There we go. We have the first part. I realize... Um, the exposure is pretty bad, huh? Okay. Let's see if we can fix that. I wonder. Hmm. Actually, you guys can you guys can see fine. If I hold it over here, you can see the shadows a little better without like the sunshine overexposing the white. We're going to be adding some contrast now. We're going to be adding um, the details of Pikachu's face. So um, I have green, right? So I want to use a little bit of green. Um, oh, we need Pikachu's tail. Okay, so again, the front of his head is right here. And then there's like a tail that's kind of like right on the side. So we're going to just kind of do a little a dollop right here. I don't know. Why does Pikachu have a tail? Is that... Isn't it like a, a lightning tail? We're going to make this kind of drip over the side. Like that, I guess. Okay. And now we're going to add the brown. Um, we're going to use... Let's see. Let's actually... Yeah, let's try the brown first. So I have chocolate syrup. Um, and I'm going to take my needle because it is very thick. And I'm just going to see what kind of resolution we can get with this really tiny needle. Um, so we have a little bit of this. And then I'm going to just try to paint an eye. Let's, oh my God. Actually, let's do an ear first. Let's get rid of this. That's one ear. The other ear. So this is what we have in terms of an ear so far. And then I'm going to make his eyeballs. Also, the milk, it's leaking down the side. That was very stupid. Hang on. I had to eat his tail. Because it was leaking all the way down the cup, just like a gigantic milk trail. So we can't have that happen. Um, I'm going to paint a little circle eye for his eyeball. There's the first eye. Oh my God. And now I'm going to paint the second eye. I'm going to give him like a little eye ball, like right there, like that. I have a fruit fly inside of my chocolate. It's so gross. There's this fruit fly, and I think he just got stuck inside of my melted chocolate, which is very disgusting. Okay.
All right, and then we need to give him another eyeball. We're going to make him cross-eyed, like a little cross-eyed Pikachu, because that's cute. Okay, the eye is a little bit sketchy. <laughs> Extra protein. Wait, I made a froth slurp? The lightning bolt tail is going to be tough. Yeah, I just I just removed the tail because it's it's just dripping milk. The milk, so I guess um, you can see it does deflate pretty quickly. So I'm going to I'm going to just get rid of I'm going to shave that off. All right. Then we need to do his mouth. We need a little oo mouth. Who did that? Styles? All right, let's make um, a little mustache mouth. This is kind of hard. So the chocolate is causing the milk to kind of deflate. The You can see it's already kind of melting. You have to do this pretty quickly. That's not quite uwu enough. What does uwu mean? Oh, and then he needs his little... Oh, we're going to give him green cheeks because I like green. We're gonna give him a cheek with using our um, our handy dandy thing. We're gonna just kind of boop. And then we're gonna just add another boop. There's our little uwu friend. It looks very here. You guys can kind of see. It's it's a little bit hard to see his eyes because the chocolate is um, causing the milk to fall in on itself. So I'm going to actually just, I'm going to poke his eye holes out. Let's see. No, I don't want to do that. That's going to ruin it. Okay, we're going to take, we're going to take a picture so you guys can see it with better lighting later. He actually looks pretty good. We're going to do portrait mode. These are the sounds I make when I make. OK, I'll put it on Discord. If you guys want to see it, I will put the picture on Discord. So that's our first creation. He is melting. We're going to see how long he lasts for. We're going to just place him like right there as like a little prop. He looks like an egg. Oh, the yes, the pigment sauces are heavier than the foam. So as backup, I have a different kind of chocolate. It's made out of frothed milk, but it kind of deflated. So I might just add some frothed milk into it and then um, see if it makes it fluffier. How do you drink it? Well, you just like stick your face over it. You take your face hole and you just kind of like you go like this. And it and then it dies and you eat it and it's super good. All right, I'm gonna put some frothy milk into my other chocolate mix. And um, this is getting actually pretty liquidy, so I'm gonna reheat it or refroth it so we can make our next creature. Um, what should we make next? Um, wait, where'd the, the fruit fly? <laughs> see, where's my other spoon? Let's take this spoon and just mix this chocolate around. So I have some frothy chocolate. We can maybe use this as backup. The only thing is that this is too watery, so it doesn't look that good. I already tried. I did compare all of these different methods beforehand, um, and I didn't really love. I didn't really love it. <laughs> um, wait, do it no hands for the bits. 
<laughs> How many bits are we talking here? How many bits are we talking if I open mouth this little <laughs> Pikachu? <laughs> what did I just say? I want him to live on. There are some chocolates that are really good for designing art. I can't remember what name they are, but your chef buds might know. Oh yeah, Leb would Leb would know. What kind of chocolate is good for this stuff? Um, okay, we're going to pick another. We're going to pick another one. Um Let's see. Oh my god. I don't know how they did this. I feel like they have to put gelatin in it, right? Like how do you do that? Um Do we want to make a corgi? The corgi seems a little bit a little bit hard, but we could always try that corgi actually looks a little weird. We could try to make a corgi though. I have brown. Let's try the bunny is super easy. That one's pretty easy, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh! Wait, who just did that? Wait, this VOD is going to come back to haunt you? Go for the Corgi. Wait, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Horse, I swear to god, you are, you are just... <laughs> Where do you find these people? Do you have like, do you just like come up with sentences in your head and you go through? Gotta go be some additive to give it more stability. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that additive is. Um, gelatin? Maybe? I don't know what gelatin and milk is like. That clip is going to come back to haunt. Wait. <laughs> all right all right the cockroach is kind of nice i like the cockroach and i think we should do i think we should do the cockroach triple tom we are ready for you to open mouth pikachu oh my god i have to do it now i have to do it Do we have a sus corner or something? I think horse needs some time alone to think. Okay, all right. Well, before we get rid of horse, we're gonna eat this this Pokemon. We're gonna eat a Pokemon. This is how you catch them all, okay? So FBI, open up! <laughs> Hobo, don't judge what I'm about to do to the weird Pikachu. <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just start by like slurping his ears off. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Anyways, now we have reset the we have reset the palette. <sighs> I spilt it on myself. Um, so we have reset the cup, so we can use it for our next creation. Dude, it is. Oh my god! It's not just milk, all right. It's the thought of what the milk looks like. It looks like a Pikachu. Okay. <laughs> Oh, was I not supposed to use my hands? Oh, I've never done shots before. I don't know how people do these things these days. So we have milk. We're going to make the cockroach, okay? That will be our next creation. Let's open this um, in new tab. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Gigantic. All right, so we have some some thick foam here. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it on top of our little cup again, which honestly is getting kind of milky. 
Um, it's very full. It's very spillable. I am probably going to spill this before the night is over, and I'm I'm not thrilled about that prospect. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some more some more foam on, and this time we're gonna make a bug. We're gonna make a cockroach bug. Let's try to get a little bit more in here. There we go. Okay, so the bug is very um, bug shaped. It looks kind of like a almond, I guess. It looks kind of like a long poop. You know what, I feel like the cockroach might not be good for this cup because this cup is so small. But we could make, we can make a ladybug. Okay, I'm making a ladybug. I wanna make a ladybug. Oh, actually? Yeah, we'll make a ladybug because I was thinking of making a spider, but then I realized that I can't do the legs properly because the legs are very long. So we're going to just do... This stuff is so stuck. We're going to make a big kind of bulbous thing, and then we're going to um, kind of use our little pastry knife. Although I feel like this knife isn't the best to use for this. We're going to kind of smooth it down and give it a kind of almond shape in the front. I think I made the shape worse by touching it. Okay. Um, I'm not happy with this shape yet. Okay, I guess that's a little better. Um, yeah, and then we're going to, because it's a ladybug, ladybugs have like, um, they have a red shell. But we don't have red, so we're going to make it a brown shell. And the way Why we're going to do... Hello, my little coffee bean. Welcome to Triple! the coffee club. Thank you so much for that sub. Welcome into the coffee club, Colt. <laughs> Oh, thank you for that. I appreciate you. And also all the cheers. All right. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to give this guy a shell. So what we're going to do, I don't know if this is actually going to work. Hang on. This might actually be a bad idea. Yep. I think this might have been a bad idea. So it's very milky and it's causing. Let's see. Let's make it thicker. Maybe it needs to be... No, this is not... Oh, no. This is not what I wanted. It's too milky. As soon as I mixed it in, it just becomes, like, nasty. Okay, this actually looks stupid. I'm upset. Um, I'm going to keep doing it, though, because I've committed now, and I have to finish committing. I don't know how people made it so, like, not disgusting okay this is a very bad shell it kind of it kind of looks like um a turtle actually we could just say it looks like a turtle we're gonna paint a design on his back though um we're gonna we're gonna commit to making this a turtle by taking our bigger stick and we're gonna make turtle shell patterns on his back like right there. You can see it's popping. It's it's like Oh man. I think I think we might need to restart this one. Yeah. Okay. This is what happened. It basically just collapsed the milk and now it's just bubbling. But it does have like a nice texture. It kind of is bumpy like a turtle. So, um we can just commit to making it a turtle until it's completely collapsed it's a big whoopsie it's a very big whoopsie <laughs> it looks so bad I just can't waste the milk this was nine dollar milk guys I can't waste it I can't waste it on my my big oof 
Okay, actually, in the areas where it hasn't popped the bubbles, it does look pretty good. Okay, this this side doesn't look good. I'm going to show you the better side. There, it kind of it kind of looks like a turtle, right? It's it's questionable. I can I I can see that it has problems. Okay. Okay, now before it completely caves in on itself, we're going to add a little bit of an eyeball. We're going to add some eyes to it. Oh my god, I'm popping its shell. It's dying. No, don't die on me. I feel like I'm decapitating this turtle from its body and it's very uncomfortable. Okay, that's what it looks like right now. Um it's it's interesting. We're going to make him have us we're going to give him dead eyes. We're going to give him like a little X. And he's going to be our dead sea turtle. This is what happens when you throw too many Starbucks straws into this ocean. Jesus. Yeah, he is. He's currently going to Jesus right now. Oh, no. His eyes don't look very good. No. No. And his little turtle mouth right there. Okay. Let's let's take a look at our dead turtle friend. <laughs> oh no. Alright, so here is our turtle art. Now we're going to take a picture of him before he dies. Let's take one little picture. <laughs> it looks better from my angle. Trust me. It looks better from my angle. It really does here. Um, come on, come on. Let's do stage. Ooh, let's do stage light. Do you guys like using the stage light feature? Wait, why did it, why doesn't it work? It's not recognizing the turtle. Why doesn't it recognize? Hang on. Oh, there we go. Oh, sweet. I took a somewhat epic picture. It's kind of it's kind of bad, but it'll be okay. All right, there's our turtle. <laughs> oh, all right. We're going to leave him there. That's a pancake. <laughs> it's a turtle after you have accidentally run one over. Okay, we're going to start with creation number two, which is going to be making a cockroach. I wouldn't <laughs> Well, guess what? I'm posting it <laughs> on Discord. <laughs> okay, do you do you guys do you guys want something other than a cockroach? Flat shell, that's sea turtle life. <laughs> it's a special mushroom. You could make your Prius. The cup is small enough. I could try to make a Prius, but I'm pretty sure it would look really bad. 
Let's do, let's, I like the, actually, I've been thinking about the hedgehog as well, Braidman. Let's do the hedgehog. I think I want to do the hedgehog. Um, how's our milk supply doing? Our milk, um, is getting a little bit sad. So I'm going to just dump it in here and then I'm going to go get some fresh milk. There we go. All right, I will be right back with a new batch of milk for our next our next mistake. The worst hedgehog. The hedgehog is very similar, right? Do you want like super spikes on the hedgehog? Like a very spiky, like ultra spiky back? We could do that. The hedgehog better get cute or it's going to get slurped. Okay, okay, okay. Let's find a good hedgehog reference picture. Um, Oops, that's not what I wanted. Um, um, Oh, man. Okay, man, our art did not look... Okay, my art looked more like this. And this is from subreddit coffee. I don't understand how people are making beautiful 3D latte art. You know what? Maybe... Uh, I'll read that later. I'll read that later. I'm going to open this tab and just look at it later. Um, okay. Uh, where was that hedgehog? I could just make it from memory, actually, because hedgehogs aren't that complicated. They're basically like a lump with spikes sticking out of them. I think he was up here. Where was he? Where was he? <gasps> what is this? Is this Batman? They even wrote words. Oh, here we go. Oh, yes. We should. Okay. It's literally in the same cup as well. Um, That's fine. I'm going to do it on the big cup. Okay. Okay. We can, we can do this. Sure. Sure. We can try to make this. It's called Pokemon. Will you do Darth Vader? <laughs> okay. So I have Sailor Moon, Darth Vader. I think we're going to just stick with uh, with this hedgehog and see what we get. Okay, that's that's going to be the first thing that we do. Um, okay, here we go. Um, also, Patwick, I think the um, DBD will start in like 30 minutes. Hopefully uh, that's not too late. Um, sorry, I'm late again. Um, it should just be a normal thing at this point. God, who the hell designs these things? <gasps> Look what happened to our turtle. It's completely deflated. Oh. Okay. Let's fill... Okay. Here's our nice. We're gonna give um so the hedgehog is going to be it's going to be a um should we make it a let's make it a white hedgehog. So in order to make everything brown, I'm not gonna do the mistake that I made before. 
Um, this time I'm going to make um, a dirt landscape, kind of like a forest floor kind of vibe, sort of like bark going um, along the ground. This might actually cause it to deflate, but let's see. If we do just a little bit of cinnamon, how would that? We just want it for contrast. That's all it's here for. I'm doing like the smallest amount of contrast. It looks really bad from uh, from up there, doesn't it? I can see it from the camera. It looks so much worse than what I'm seeing. I'm, I swear the camera's making everything look worse than it actually is. <laughs> the turtle represents your hopes and dreams completely deflated. Um, that's about right. Then we're gonna add some grass to it. No, just kidding, we're not gonna do that. All right, now we're gonna add our um, our little hedgehog. So he has a little snoot. So we're going to have to make sure we get the snoot on there. Okay. I don't like... Why, hello, my little coffee bean. Iron! Cujo! Welcome in! Welcome to the stream! Thank you so much for the eight months! Um, okay, we are making a hedgehog. So this is gonna be the hedgehog's body. Oh man. Okay, so that it's a very wobbly base. That's all I'm gonna say. It's it's very, very wobbly. We need this to be a thick hedgehog though. So we're gonna it might actually be too thick, to be honest. It's kind of sinking. Okay. Um, this might actually be the Titanic. Hang on. I don't know. It's looking like it's sinking in. It, it looks like it, it might be a little bit um, heavy. <gasps> Molly P Melly Pal, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Um, I hope you guys are doing amazing. Hang on here. Let's give a shout out to Melly Pal. Welcome in, guys. Um, you are French. That is super exciting. I can't speak French, unfortunately, but um, I will pretend. Um, Actually, I don't even know. What is it? Merci for the raid. <laughs> I Thumpy, thank you so much for that follow. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, Leb, can you can you give a oh, did you give a shout out? Oh, oh, oh. You were doing just chatting. Well, welcome. Thank you for picking um this channel to raid. I really appreciate you. We are making um, some latte art right now, which is um, going very interestingly. Um, so we're trying to make this hedgehog and I'm having a bit of difficulty. I'm making a white hedgehog, um, but right now the hedgehog is kind of sinking into our milk foam. I don't think I properly um, set the base for this one. Um, for some context, we're very, I'm a caffeine centric channel. So a lot of things we do on here are related to the art of coffee. Um, but today we are just trying to make foamy animals in our, in our drinks. Cause you know, that's always fun to do. It's fun to play with your food. I recommend it. Um, but yeah, so the 3d, um, foam art is actually, um, a very big fad in Japan. Um, and a lot of cafes there, you can actually get like custom little like lot like 3D animals in your in your coffee and stuff. It's very cute. It's a big thing. Um, it's not something I have seen in the U.S. that much, but I hope it's more of a trend. I think mostly just Instagrammers do it, but not really cafes. So right now I'm trying to make a very smooth um, body for my <laughs> for my little hedgehog. Um, she deflated a sea turtle. Okay, we're not going to talk about the sea turtle. It melted. It melted a long time ago. 
That's very bad. Um, why is there a sauce pot around? Do you put mustard in the coffee? Wait, a sauce pot? Um, there's, there is no mustard. Wait, what looks like mustard? I'm not sure what looks like mustard here. Um, this is, this is milk. So there's, um, mostly just milk going on. We're gonna, we're gonna add the, um, the spines of this little, of this little hedgehog now. So we're gonna do that with a smaller spoon, which, do I not have a clean spoon anymore? And hang on. I think we, I think we contaminated all the spoons. Actually, we do have one more, we have one more clean spoon. Actually, yeah, we should, we should get a new spoon. Hang on. Um, let's open this. Okay. All right. So we have some Milo. Oh, I accidentally put two spoons into my Milo. That's bad. Spoon. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's, that's, that's the blurb. That's you guys. The blurb. That's, it. that's it. Your 500 <laughs> beans got you. Oh my god. All right, so we're gonna add some little spines to our very sad looking um, Hedgehog actually we should make which way should his head go? I think his head should go right here So he has kind of like a longish snoot shaped thing coming out So we're gonna try it's kind of like a reverse trunk So we need to kind of build it like this I don't know how people do this. We're gonna try to, oh my God. Oh my God, it's not coming, it's not coming out properly. Oh, oh wow. That's, that's definitely not what I was going for. All right, we have somewhat of a snoot here. Um, we're gonna have to come back and fix that. We're gonna add a little bit of fluff along the back. So we're gonna kind of build up his backside a little bit more because it's a little bit small right now. So I'm building this side and then I'm gonna smooth the other side because I realize it doesn't look that good on the other side as well. Oh my God, wait, this doesn't look like a, oh no, this doesn't look like a hedgehog. It's okay. It's okay. It will look like a hedgehog one day. He's still being born. He's developing in his womb, in his mom's womb, not his womb, but like the hedgehog womb. He's being shaped. Okay, there we are. So um, Snoot is going to need some help. It's kind of wanting to tip over. Okay, now we can add we can add some spines all along the top. We're gonna first make a very big sp spiky thing like right here, kind of like a dinosaur. Uh, oops. Okay. Maybe one like right down here. Coffee. You want coffee? If anybody wants but coffee? That doesn't look right. Strike the pitcher several times on the table. Ah, ah, yes. This allows larger air bubbles to escape so the froth do not separate. Oh, oh. I'm so I'm actually I want the bubbles to be there because I'm trying to make um to make a uh, kind of like a, a structure. Now is the time to pour the mousse. It's best to do this right after making it. Oh. Oh, oh, a latte art pattern. Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing like um, um, a bubble, like a the thick. So you basically we we want the milk as thick as possible, but it looks so bad. It looks so bad right now. Um, I think. Hang on. Mm, it's too. Let's see. We'll we'll make some little spikes all around the little porcupine. Who told me to do the porcupine again? Was it Braidman? This actually looks like um, a dinosaur with cancer. That's what I'm getting from this um, from this design right now. It's basically just a massive. It has massive tumors on its back. Uh, 
Um, I think Braidman will be very upset. Oh, there we go. We have one spike that kind of looks like a spike. Uh, 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 that looks like a tumor. It's okay. Now we need to elongate its head. I'm going to give it a bigger head. Oh, its neck is too weak. It can't support the head. Okay, we need to we need to give it a thicker neck. How far? How did they make it so cute? Oh my god. We need the milk to be like a little bit we need like a little dilop. Up here. We'll try this. This is just getting more and more, um, more and more. <laughs> it looks so. Uh, okay, okay. All right, we have something that resembles an an elephant, maybe, or maybe like an alien. Here, we're gonna just add another dilop right there. Melly Pal. <laughs> it looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> okay, let's give him um a bit of a curve. Let's curve his neck up. Patwick. I thought you told me you didn't need a reference because you know what a hedgehog looks like. This is what a hedgehog looks like. Look. This this is a hedgehog. Oops, it's too bright. It's too bright. Here, there's some shadows. This is what a hedgehog looks like. Um, I think he, the hedgehog needs like a little bit more of a bigger spike in the back of his like butt maybe. Here, let's give him um a spike here. Let's build his spikes. He's like um he's like a little mini coronavirus. Look at all his little spike proteins. Oh, they're so cute. Geo, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the stream. Uh, oops, I killed it. I killed the spike protein. Hang on. <laughs> this was, I think our Pikachu was the better, was the better thing that I made. Um, Geof, I hope you're doing well. Um, we are attempting 3D latte art today. I am a novice. I just started this hobby literally today. I have no idea what I'm doing. My chat thinks I'm insane. I think I'm insane. You probably think I'm insane. It's okay. We're all insane a little bit. I'm going to give him a beard. I think I'm going to just give him like a little, like a little like neck beard right there that'll help keep his his face up it kind of looks like a snail now all right we should we should add some details maybe if i add details it'll look more like a <laughs> something that it needs to look like <laughs> all right um let's give it let's give it a little eye first hang on its head needs to be <laughs> Its head needs to come out a little ways. I don't know. Um, oh, you know what? It needs more of a head, actually. Let's let's fill in this gap right here. I kind of almost decapitated it. Here, we're gonna just put a tiny, uh, a tiny bit of a head. I think I'm just. What is this? Is this a head? Let's put that base there. Um, hmm. This needs to be spikier. Its spike is falling over. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just fluff it up a little bit. Give it a little bit of fluff. I think at this point the foam is sticking a little bit too much, so it's not quite doing the things that I want it to do. Green, oh, this? 
This is matcha. So I made a matcha syrup so that I could use it for things. Um, and clearly, clearly, I don't know if we're going to be using it here. We can use it to um, maybe add some spots on the tip of the spikes, just like this. So we have like a little bit of an accent on each tip. So now you guys can see where the little tips are. That'll make it mo look more like a dinosaur, right? Here, let's add a little thing here. Um, oh, let's give it let's give it another spike on the back. This one kind of melted off a little bit. There we go. That's totally what a spike looks like. Okay, it kind of looks like um a Christmas tree actually. Maybe this should be a Christmas tree and not not a dinosaur and not a hedgehog. Right? All right. Now its head is a little bit a little bit weird. We have to get rid of his double chin, I think. So he has like too much of a double chin going on. Um let's see. Let's put that there. Protein spike vax in a cup. Yes, yes. It is a... We're shaving off the neck beard. The neck beard was a mistake. I, I admit it was a mistake. I think the milk is like not in a happy spot right now though. It's getting a little bit angry at me. No, Ugh, that was too much. Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> I think I've dug myself into a hole with this. <laughs> All right, let's pretend. Let's pretend it's something. Let's give it some little eyes. We're going to give it little tiny eyes on the side of its head, kind of like a sad dinosaur that's about to um to die. We'll give him a little sad eye on this side and then we'll give him another sad eye on the other side. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Coincidence? I think not! <laughs> Dribble time! Wait, are you telling me to drink? Or is it time to slurp this guy? Is it time to give him the, the final slurp and put him to rest? All right, we'll slurp, we'll slurp this. Oh, this eye's like bleeding. Bite its head off already and end its life. Here's, it's too, it needs nose holes. It needs, it needs a nose hole. There we go. <laughs> here, here is Charlie. Charlie the dinosaur. Um, and actually, if you look at it from this angle, it looks like a bear. Like here's the bear's eye and here's its nose and it's looking up and getting like tumors growing out of it. Ah, I'm gonna take a picture of this. Hang on. It's it's gonna go on the Discord so you guys can like see its beautiful eyes. <laughs> oh my god, let's oh my god, let's let's put it back in portrait mode. Oh it's so cute. Here's Okay, we'll get a nice like up close of it. Oh yeah. There we go. All right. Wait, there's mic reverb on the bop. Ooh, I don't know how to get rid of that. You should have stopped while you were with the head with Pikachu. <laughs> the Pikachu is really cute, guys. If you don't believe me, you can join the Discord and you can see what the Pikachu looks like um, when I post it later. It looked, it looked okay. 
Sorry, I won't I won't hit the mic anymore. I don't know why it's so sensitive lately. I'm not sure what I did. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna drink him. All right, we erased it. He's gone. He's gone. No more. No more. Spoon <laughs> Wait, I turned up the volume for you. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do that. Very similar to the pick at the right. I know they were basically virtual twins. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Let's see. We have ten more minutes until seven. Should we, let's see, how much milk do we have left? We don't really have milk left. I think this is a good place to stop, right? Are you guys, are you guys good with this? I don't really have any, it's all just milky now. We're gonna, I'll do this again sometime after I practice some more. This was just a, a trial to see what we could make. Um, and clearly, clearly it was not worth, it was not worth keeping. <laughs> um... All right, so we are going to switch gears a little bit. We are going to transition from 3D Latte Art to Dead by Daylight. Um, I will keep Sailor Moon in mind, Styles, for you, for you. Um, Melly, it's all right. You don't have to lie. It was it was bad. It was very bad. It was, <laughs> it was a very sad-looking turtle dinosaur. Um, but... Yeah, I will try to um, maybe get some like stabilizer and figure out what what it is that people use to make their to make their foam just stand up correctly. Um, but yeah, all right, I'm gonna clean up. Um, so I'm gonna just put some music up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This traumatized you. Um, it traumatized me as well. All right, I'm gonna clean up and then we're gonna do some, uh, some stuff.
Okay. Things are cleaned up. You don't like the sleepy music? This is actually weird music. Let's do this. Um, we are going to be transitioning to Dead by Daylight. Die, welcome in. Um, you just missed possibly one of the most traumatic things ever. Um, where I tried to make latte art and um, I have some results. They will. I'm actually going to put them on Discord right now. You guys can look. No, this is not my workout playlist. I listen to Gojiro and other heavy metal for my workouts. Not, not this. This is for coffee only. Okay, the pictures are posted. All right, you guys should go on the Discord. Can you guys see this? There. Go on Discord. Look at what we made. Um, what, what I made. Okay, this looks like a cute little polar bear, kind of. You can't really see it. Aww. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Aww. The... Mm, they look so much better when you take a picture of them. On stream, they just look really awful. <laughs> um, if you guys are not part of the Discord and you want to see the pictures, um, go ahead and click this link that I'm going to put into chat, like, right now. There you go. All right, and this is the remains of the sad turtle. Also, Styles, thank you for the um, 100 bits for my little brown dot. Yes, I spilled Pikachu when I was trying to drink him, and he left a spot. 